What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hearts and Godsons, my name is Godson B.A. Pinky and welcome to our channel Canva Play. Here in Canva Play, we make videos to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. With that said, I'm going to head on to our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the matrix action effect in Canva. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or symbols which are generally arranged in rows and columns. It only means that in this design, you will see an array of numbers arranged in columns. If you happen to see the sci-fi movie The Matrix, Then you'll know what I mean to say. Though it's more than two decades when this movie was released, it still lingers in my mind the sci-fi fiction scenes, full of greens and numbers roaming around when I first watch it. This scenario brings me goosebumps and made me love even more Mr. Neil Anderson. If I will give a movie analysis on this, I might say that this film doesn't age. It will be contemporary even in 2030 or even in 2040. Wanna bet? Then, see it for yourself. Enough of this storytelling because this tutorial might take long. So I suggest you get your pen and paper and list down the codes, keywords, and hint notes for the detailed steps. But surely it's worth watching, worth learning. So, spare me your time until the end because it's so fulfilling when you see your final result. Let's jump into Canva and start creating the design. But before that, here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. In creating this, the background plays an important role. The first step then is to create the background. First, I will change the color of my background to black. Second, I will search in the photos a matrix background. I will go to photos and search for the keyword matrix conceptual background. And various green matrix backgrounds photos will appear. When I first saw these photos, I became confused with so many options. I tried them all. Finding keywords is hard and time-consuming, and you need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find these kind of keywords. If you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known in deep search to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day-to-day -day designs. But in this design, I will pick this particular background under with the keyword green matrix. But before that, please note that you can also find several matrix background under elements. There's a bountiful of them actually. I will use this green matrix background and drag it inside the page. Drag it from its corners to occupy the whole page. And position it middle center. And lock it. I want to see more numbers in this background. So I will add more numbers to this background in addition to my first. This time I will find this addition from elements. So, I can show you how plenty of them also in elements. So, go to elements and search in particular the keyword green matrix backdrop. Go to graphics. And here it is, the first element on the list. 
The keyword of this is green matrix backdrop. Use it and drag it inside the design and change its color and settings to match the green aura of the background. So I will change the color by clicking the color tile and replace the color hex code to hashtag 84CD6B and change the transparency to 74. Now make it larger by dragging it from its corners to occupy the whole page. Position it middle center and don't forget to lock it so it will not replace your background. Now I am done with the first phase that is creating the matrix background. For the second phase of the tutorial, I will add now the subject photo. A photo of a human trapped inside a matrix world. I will add another page having a black background so you can see it more clearly how I will transform my subject photo to a kind of matrix kind of photo effect. I will get now my subject photo from uploads. In choosing a subject photo in this kind of design, of course, the person should be in a futuristic look like this one. You can also search this photo under photos using the keyword woman with futuristic glasses and sensors. I will remove the background of this image, so I will go to Edit Image and click Background Remover. If you are a ProVersion user, you can automatically remove the background under Edit Image. If you are a free version user, you can use the free alternative background remover like remove.bg. You can find it in the description box below the link to this alternative. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have the link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. Just click the link and it will direct you to Canva to process your trial subscription. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle-free. After I remove its background and find that there's no erase parts in it, then I'll click apply and continue doing the design. I will duplicate this image to make it two. For the first image, I will apply a color mix effect. So I will go to edit image, find color mix. This one, see all. And find para kit and apply it on the image and see the image became greener but it looks dull therefore I need to adjust the settings to enhance the image color using the image I will go to edit image Find adjust, see all, and apply the following settings. Brightness, negative 45, saturation, 40, tint, negative 5, blur, negative 10, warmth, 100, clarity, 92, highlights, negative 28, and shadows, negative 100. and see the image became enhanced. Using the second image, I'm going to make it our green shadow by going to edit image, look for the tone, see all, and apply the Mertel effect under it. And the image changed to a greenish look. I will then apply and adjust settings to this image to create this as my lighted green shadow. Using the image, I will go to edit image and choose the adjust settings, see all, and apply the following settings. Brightness, negative 15. Contrast to its maximum, 100. Saturation, 100. Same with the blur, 100. And highlights, 100. 
and this happens. I created a blurred green shadow. I will join them together to make them as one, select them all, and I will position them both middle center. And position the blurred shadow at the back. Group them and drag them to the background design I created a while ago. And position it on the left side like this. Done with my subject photo. Now let's go to the third phase of the tutorial. The third phase covers the overlay and the final touch of the design. I will place an overlay at the top of the design. So I will create another page for you to see the look of the overlay that I will create since it's quite invisible to see because of its colors. I will go to elements and search for the keyword abstract matrix digital dark background go to graphics and choose the element in the list with the keyword this one abstract matrix digital back background this is a transparent element I will drag it inside the design. Then, I will change the color by using the duotone effect. This is a transparent element. So, I will go to edit image and find duotone. Use any of the effects under it. Like for example, I'll choose this cherry effect and apply the settings by clicking it to manipulate and change the default colors. Change the default color to hex code 84 CD 6B. Also in the shadows, hex code 84 CD 6B, and then click apply. And the duotone effect makes it change the color. I will make it bigger for you to see it clearer. This is how it looks like. Now, I'll change the transparency of this to 44. Then I will drag it in over the design page at the top and make it bigger to occupy the whole page. And don't forget to lock it. The next step will give your design the highlights. In Matrix, the numbers are alive. They manipulate the world. And that's what I want to put in this scenario. A Matrix world full of digital numbers around. And I'm going to create another page again for you to see how I will create those numbers. But before that, I'm going to lock all the elements and photos in this design so it will not be moved when I will put the numbers that I will create later. Now, I will create another page with black background. I will type a text. I will type a binary number. Another thing on what number I will use, it usually number 0 and 1 only. Binary codings are usually in these numbers only. So I will type 0. The font should also be in futuristic type. So I will choose the font Fira code font. And change the color of it to hex code 7ED957. And I will also apply an effect on this font. So I will go to effects, apply the neon effect, and make the measure to 50. I'm done with the text effects. Then I will then drag this color text over the design. 
put it in here make it smaller and then I will duplicate another one and keep on duplicating and scatter the numbers in different places For this next number, I will change the zero number to number one. And place it here. I'll duplicate another one and put it on the body part. I think I'm satisfied with the placement of these numbers, so I will select them all and group them so I can make an adjustment whether to make it smaller, bigger, or align them better. Done! This is how the final look of the design I created using the matrix action effect in Canva. This design has a long process, huh? But it's worth doing it. That's it. For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe, drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky Godson BA saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Simon Goodhart BA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video!